they have a lot of talent. Um, obviously, I, I, I've told Mike he's done a good job of keeping them engaged. Uh, it kind of seems like they come and go, um, you know, but this this game, they obviously, they were engaged. They have many guys step up and have a lot of career highs, um, you know, from, you know, Bryce Thompson, Avery hits the big shot at the end. Uh, Woody, Woody Newton comes in, makes shots. Bryce Williams, eight assists. I, Stan just kept saying all these things. Uh, Walker, seven rebounds, all career highs for them or season highs, whatever. Uh, you look at their stats, 51%, 40 from three, and you wonder how the heck uh, we're in the game. And uh, I, I just said, uh, I think it shows a lot about our guys, their, their, how, how much it means to them, their perseverance, their passion. Uh, you know, Mike McGurl, uh, they did a good job locking in. Nigel uh, made it tough on him. You know, when we needed plays, Mike McGurl stepped up. Casey stepped up. Uh, you know, Marquise had some some really good moments for us. Um, and we're down seven with two something left and have the ball to, to win the game. Obviously, you're going to go to Nigel. Uh, you wish you would have had a little better look at the end, but we didn't. And, uh, you know, credit to them. Unbelievable play by Nigel to get the foul and the three free throws. And, but, you know, we go small, we're going to switch everything. We didn't do a good job. And Avery jumps up and makes a big shot. Uh, sad, disappointing, but uh, I'm proud of our guys and they care and they, they play with a great passion. And if we continue doing that, we'll find ways to win some more games. Okay, uh, first question to Ryan Gilbert. Hey, Coach, what can this game do for Casey Eziagu's confidence moving forward? I can't hear it. Can you ask about uh, Casey's, uh, how, how this game can uh, help Casey moving forward? Well, you know, Casey called me on Tuesday morning after, uh, after the West Virginia game. He hadn't gotten in two games, and he just said, what's, what, what's up, Coach? And I said, you got you to gotta produce. And, and, you know, and, and he just said, Okay, I, I said you got to keep your head up. Uh, you know, this next couple games, you got two big guys coming up. You might have an opportunity when you when you get this opportunity. You got to step up and and give us something. You got to produce, whether it's rebounding, scoring, whatever it is, defense. Uh, you know, but he did a nice job. Nine points, four rebounds. Uh, obviously, we would have liked the, another one or two, but uh, you know, I hope I hope it helps him. I, I thought Davion gave us pretty good energy. Obviously, we need them to catch the balls a little better. Uh, but, uh, you know, it. they went to Boone, uh, you know, the, where they haven't played much. And he just kind of took us to the to the woodshed and back uh, in the first half. And we had no answers for him. Um, you know, and that's why Casey got an opportunity. We thought he could be a little more physical and, and deal with that. So I'm, I'm happy for him. Hopefully, we can get everybody going at the same time. Uh, next question to Mitchell. Hey, Coach, obviously back uh, at, at different times of season, you guys have shown an ability to come through in late game scenarios, but now this is five different conference losses where you guys have lost by three points or fewer. Just how 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 is it that this team's going to be able to come through in these moments now as the season goes down? I, I, I think they'll come back. They, they're they're resilient. They, they've talked a lot about perseverance, about staying focused on the mission. Um, actually, it's amazing. We were in the game, to be honest, uh, you know, down seven, down the stretch and find a way to get back and tie it and have the ball to finish it. So uh, they they care. Obviously, you got a big game. Sunflower showdown. Got to go to Kansas. Um, you know, if you can't get ready for that, you don't deserve to play college basketball. So um you know, was, I, I know they'll be ready. It's it's disappointing, but I also think it shows a lot about what we're what we are about. Why? How do we 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 play so hard and we care and we give ourselves a chance all the time? Uh, and you know that I think we're one of the best. You know, could be one of the better teams in the country. I think we're. You know, we played everybody. We played them close. We won games. Uh, you know, but we got to finish this off and get a few, find a way to get a few more wins here down the stretch. Uh, next question to Michael. 
Yeah, Bruce, how costly was transition scores for Oklahoma State? It really hurt us. It was the first thing on the board. I, I thought we did a better job in the second half, but it really hurt us. We had, and part of it was not great offense. You know, and they switched some things. They did some things that uh, they didn't do the first time. Uh, I didn't think we got into pain enough and moved the ball and made the next pass. And that, and then that led to transition and not getting back. And, uh, you know, they have, it says 13 fast break points. You know, I don't know what, what's a fast break point or a point off a turnover. I'm not sure on that. But the, the bad part is we had opportunities I, I, a number of times where we were one-on-one -on -one or uh, two-on-one two -on or whatever, where we got nothing. That one time Mike shot it. I think Nigel tipped it in. Davion tried to tip it in. Mark tried to tip it in. They got the ball. So those are those are killers to me. Those are baskets that uh, could have made a difference. And you got 12 for 38 on two-point shots. Was, did their length bother you? Oh, there's no doubt. They have long guards. They have uh, big guys inside. They they didn't block that many shots for. Um, but it, it uh, you know, but it does. It, it makes it gives you. But you got to make the next play. I thought Marquis second half made the nice plays to Casey when they overplay things and attack you and try to block shots. Got to make the next play. And and we we did a little better job of that in the second half. Uh, compared to the first half, I think four assists at halftime, eight in the second half. And how clutch was Nigel at the free throw line in the last? Uh, and it's a tough seconds. situation, and he hasn't shot free throws. You know, probably of all the things, he's he struggled the last stretch here, uh, shooting the free throws. And uh, you know, for him to be calm and cool and make all three, give us a chance. Uh, we just didn't execute on defense at the end like we needed to. Thank you. Uh, next question to Tim. Hey, Coach, can you kind of take me through what, what, what you were looking for on that, that final possession of, of regulation and, and what you were hoping to happen there? Once we got the ball back, uh, we just wanted to get it in and have the last shot. And you wanted Nigel to have the ball. Um, you know, we, we kind of learned our lesson. If we run somebody at him, people are apt to, to double team. Um, obviously, he... We said we were in the bonus, and if he crowded you, try to get in there and, you know, maybe see if you can get a foul. But, uh, you know, he just uh, – Isaac Isaac said, you got me last time. He's not – you're not – he's an older guy. He's physical. Uh, he, at one time, I thought he was always one of the better defenders in the league, uh, and, and he just didn't get a good enough shot off, obviously. But we won the last shot. I guess the hindsight, maybe run Marquise up there and get a switch and – Maybe Nigel has a little better chance on somebody else, but uh, can always second guess yourself. He obviously made it last time. You want it in his hands if you can at the end. Uh, we'll go one last question to Cooper. Coach, looking at the box score, you had four players, almost five in double digit scoring. How does it feel that your, your guys are stepping up Seven, well, usually we four. win games when we have when we have good balance and uh, you know it, it you know I, obviously Mike McGurl had big big shots down the stretch gave us a chance um, you know we made the right reads Casey stepped up you know we don't even say anything about Mark Smith 15 10 again a double double four assists uh, two steals um, you know he had his hands on that one rebound down the stretch and Thought he tried to dribble it instead of grab it. He's so strong. There's no way they should take it out of his hands. But, uh, you know, good balance. It gives, gave us a chance. Uh, you know, but they had it. They had their bench really hurt us. They had some guys really step up. Boone, Newton coming off the bench that made a difference in the game.